Okay, so we're going to jump right into this. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is these are supposed to be shown, but we're going to make everything fade in first. Okay, so we're going to go to our index. And we're basically just going to say we need to make a new CSS file. So just make a new file in your scripts folder, call it css.css. Go to your index.html. And we want to say link rel equals style sheet href equals um, scripts slash css dot css and then we're going to say type equals text slash css and that should work so now we're going to go to our css and we're just going to say for now console and um, we're just going to say display none for now so that this is from this section on up so that'll be good um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to move this message help outside of that div Actually, no, let's just keep it there for now. So, now we're going to say, um, in our game.js file, we're going to say document.ready function. Right below that, we're going to want to um, say console.fade in and we'll make it 1000. So now that we have got that, we can press F5 and see how it fades in. We can make that longer. Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to have to pick up a sword. So we're going to go right below the input. We're going to say if uh, parentheses input equals equals take sword we are going to then oh and we have to also make sure that the current room you are in is the same room as the one that contains the sword so we want to say n corridor because that is the room that the sword is in okay and we're gonna say um, we can do this dollar sign parentheses and then in double quotes P um, you picked up a sword and then slash P and then we can say dot insert before because remember we're putting everything before our placeholder here so that it scrolls up so insert before placeholder and then dot fade in 1000 and then we're going to close that and we'll see if that works okay so now we're going to say take sword you picked up a sword it's not fading in so I'm going to try one thing I'm going to say dot hide and then dot insert before and see if that works so take sword there see um, the reason that you have to hide it first is because it's already shown and saying to fade in something that's already shown is kind of you know not rational so you have to hide it first then insert before and then fade it in So now we're going to work on moving to a different room. Um, but first, we want to say we want to put an else statement here 
that says else if else if um, current room well we want to say input equals equals take sword and current room and this time we're going to say not equal to north corridor we can say same format as above put a p tag there and we're going to say the sword is not here dot hide dot insert before place holder dot fade in one thousand so now um we're also going to put a statement below everything that says else um, and I'm just going to copy this and just change the words here. The, instead of saying this, though, we can. I'm going to say um, this is going at the end. So after it's checked through everything here, after it's checked through all of this, and it still doesn't know what you want to do, it's just going to say, "I don't understand what you mean by this." So it's going to say, um, "I do not understand," and then we're going to put. A um, um, end quotes plus input we want to put a space here plus input plus that and what that'll do is well I'll show you here's what this will do this will so if I were to say blah, I don't understand blah, see? Uh, we can add some punctuation onto the end of that. I'm getting my windows confused here. So we'll add some punctuation before there. We'll just put a dot. And then we'll go back to this. And we're going to say blah. I don't understand blah, period. So. That's what I'll do. Now, before we move on, we want to organize our code. So this, I'm just going to say slash slash help, and then I'm going to put another group to signify the end of it. And then these are the take commands. And uh, this is the don't understand. And then this resets the text box. It's important to keep your code organized, otherwise you'll spend five minutes looking for a specific section. So now we're going to go to more rooms. So before the don't understand, we're going to say go to room. So, um, so we're going to start. Uh, we're in the north corridor. Let's make it go west. So. We're going to say, um, we'll just say if input equals go west, um, and we also have to check that the current room is equal to We have to make sure the current room is equal to um, the room that we're in. Like, you can't... If you're in the north corridor, and you have to go to the west corridor first before you can get to the south corridor, you can't go from the north to the south. Does that makes sense. Like, you have to be in a room that's connected to another room. You know, you can't teleport all over the place. So, if input equals go west and current room equals north corridor... We'll simply just say um, current room equals west corridor. And we want to display a message. So 
again I'm just gonna copy one of these lines here and just change the words we're gonna say you are now in the west corridor um and I'm gonna say else if input equals equals go west and current room is e is not equal to north corridor um we're basically just going to say you can't go that way so now let's test and see what we have for so far so here's here's basically what we need to pay attention to when we're checking to make sure the code works we need to make sure that you can take the sword when you're in the north corridor which is where you start we have to make sure that you can't take the sword when you're in the west corridor and we have to make sure that you can go to the west corridor from the north and um... we also have to make a go back thing so i'm gonna actually do that right now i'm gonna say if um... Oops, if input equals go go east because that's the opposite of west and the current room current room is equal to um, west corridor then we can say um, current room equals n corridor and we're going to say you are back at the north corridor you are back, back at the north corridor so now we have to make sure that all these things work so let's go ahead and do that so f5 first we're going to make sure that if we type in gibberish it works now if we say take sword okay so see how this says i don't understand take sword we need to somehow figure out how to make this because this is always gonna um, this is always gonna be shown after you type in something so we gotta figure out a way to make it show only if none of the other ones have registered one way to patch this up is after every if statement um, and else if statement here we can say we can set a new variable we can say var um, check equals false and we can just set that variable to true and down here we can say else if check equals equals false it'll say oh I don't understand but we can set it to true whenever it does understand so we can say check equals equals or check equals true and simply just take this actually it might even be easier just to do this we'll just make our own function we'll just say function check and we'll just say check equals true this is going to be a whole lot easier now watch this is all we have to do check that's it and we can just copy that and put it here 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 and here and also here we also need to add a whole else if statement here so I'm just going to copy this one else if input equals go east and current room is not equal to west corridor see how easy this is just copy paste change a few things and it's the same so it's just basically copy and paste all over um, we're going to end that and now it should work so let's take a look at this so we're going to type in blah, I don't understand that, but if we want to say take sword, we should be able to take sword without it giving us an answer. Um, we also want to set, for some reason, this is not resetting the value. 
but we'll take care of that issue in the next video. We just want to make sure that it works for now. So we picked up a sword, now let's see if we can go west. We are now in the west corridor. Now let's see if we can go south. We don't have anything in there that says you can't go that way for south, so we'll have to add that in too. Um, but if I wanted to go east, I should be back in the north corridor. Yep. So everything we did in this uh, video has worked. Um, what we need to do next video is we need to make sure that when you say this, um, we need to make an inventory, and we need to make sure that you can't pick up the sword after you've already picked it up, and we need to make the word here, these, disappear after every time you enter it. Alright, so um, stay tuned for the next part, part four, and um, we're about we're about 75% there once we get the inventory done and um, more directions and stuff. Um, we'll be good to go. So, until next time, see you later.